this evangelical pastor who briefly shot with him in 2015, he recorded a rap song about Ted Cruz, so that was the first problem. But after this, he's now selling something else besides bad uh, lyrics is bleach. Bleach to parents who want to give it to their autistic children. Doesn't make any sense. Here's this guy now. Uh, his name is Joel Salant. There he is, it's a screenshot from, I guess, one of his rap videos. Uh, but Joe Salon, he grew up in an, an affluent New Jersey family. He became, a, he became a born again Christian after coming out of drug rehab when he was in his early 20s. Good job, having spent six months in jail for drug possession. Recently, he's become part of the American Renewal Project. And it aims to have a pastor from every church in America run for elected office by 2024. Uh, Salant preaches a Christian nationalist ideology that positions the church at the heart of all aspects of American society. Let's get to this uh, autism part and the things that he's selling to treat it. <sighs> he's taken on a new role as the US representative, a US representative, which means it's a foreign company, for a company called Safrax. And it markets chlorine. Uh, chlorine dioxide tablets that are advertised on the company's website as industrial products for odor removal. This is what they're for. Odor removal, disinfection, and as cleaners for hot tubs and jacuzzis. Keep that in mind. Uh, Salat said that many people are using the treatments in an attempt to treat autism in children. He said some people are, many people are. And that's according to a recording of a phone call that was obtained by an Ireland based activist. So details on that, this is what he said, autism? Yeah, I mean, it's a common treatment. We're not allowed to recommend our products for it specifically, but yeah. The protocols in the Andreas Kalker book, which we have on our website, it's commonly used for that. Does that mean they should? Because some idiot said, let's toss some chlorine tablets in our children's cereal in the morning, uh, more though. In a post reviewed by Vice News, one purchaser wrote that she had taken the Safrax tablets. This is the most ridiculous thing ever and was now feeling unwell. She was surprised. I can't find any information about the dosage of the tablets and I'm currently sick. I tried dissolving one in a gallon of water and surprisingly, it tastes like pure bleach. I just wanna get well. Safax was founded in, this company was founded in 2011 by Dan. <laughs> A French national who's also known as Steve Jean Paul Dan. In 2005, he was arrested on three counts of felony financial transaction, card fraud, and the Dawson County Sheriff's Office in Georgia confirmed this to fight to Vice News, and that case is still open to this day. So they're selling tablets of bleach to folks to give to their autistic children because apparently autism is the worst thing ever, and you've got folks. Apparently he's recovered and everything and now they're selling these tablets and he says it could be a thing. Uh, so people are killing their children is what it seems. Your thoughts here? I, I'm curious as to what the science is behind that. You know what I'm saying? Like how <laughs> is it supposed, yeah, like or, or the bleach treatment. Like how is it, is it supposed to interact with your soul or like what's going on? Like, you know, it, it's, it, it's entirely metaphorical. It sounds like some ridiculous idea that somebody who's not all that bright had you're like, oh, we'll just wash the autism away with bleach. We'll, we'll <laughs> wash it anew. Bleach it like be like autism is a black ball of fungus that's located in the stomach, and you take bleach and it washes it white. Like, I mean, 100%. it's it's that ridiculous. I mean, and this woman poisoned herself, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, I think another scary thing about that was every pastor or a pastor from every church in America. Like, yeah, that that's what we need. You know, like that's exactly what this country needs. But uh, this guy's an idiot, and um, unfortunately, he has a voice. So, well, maybe outside of that book, this could be the reason. Let's jump to this last video because this was always stood out to me. Uh, is it something with preachers, Christian preachers, that talk about autism like mm -hmm. this? Watch this. You might have to pray for some things to be fixed. Let's talk about one. Let's talk about autism. Rick, did you just go there? Yeah. Like I know a minister who has seen lots of kids that are autistic, that he cast that demon out and they were healed and then he had to pray and their brain was rewired and they were fixed. Yeah, I just went there. I mean, you can get online and see lots of examples of it. If it's not demonic, then we have to say God made them that way. Like that's the only other explanation. Why is my kid have autism? 
Well, either the devil's attacked them, he's brought this infirmity upon them, he's got them where he wants them, and or God just doesn't like them very much and he made them that way. Well, my God doesn't make junk. My God does not make junk. But he he's made your you. autistic child. <laughs> so bring your kids here, give me your money, do the tithes and donations while I talk trash about your child being junk and he's demonic. Therefore, take some, this not connected to that preacher. Therefore, take some bleach pills to cure it. it. They said it rewires their brain and they're fixed. This is the types of folks that legislators up to the former president follow and believe. And they want to lead our country to that direction. Are you on board for that? No. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.